morning folks welcome along to the vlog 15th of january a little bit hazy today the snow is still here but it is melting as you can see so i'm going to go up to the top and scrape away all the snow around the chicken pen area and we'll get this finished off today need to do a little bit of work on the legs reposition it all put the last piece of the pen in the back here and then sort these top roof spars out and put some cage some chicken wire over the top of them but it's uh, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be in here also at some point we'll be making an automatic chicken door opener you can see how I've got to reposition this here kind of get this framed up nicely don't really want to be cutting into the uh, into the roof to be fair yeah anyway a few bits to do but 90% of it's complete so let's just see how we progress with today's vlog so we've got quite a few of the uh, chicken wire panels on the top this one to give them a little bit of a dry area is going to be some of this corrugated PVC not too worried about a few leaks here and there so I'm just screwing this straight onto some battens and then that's going to go up in the top right hand corner so as soon as they come directly out of the pen all that section around there where it's going to house their food and the water will remain dry and the rest of this side will be open to the elements we are getting there slowly We've just walked down the garden I've noticed evidence on the trampoline that Reggie's been having a little bit of a bounce all on his own look. Very rarely do I manage to capture him on the trampoline jumping around, but he does it quite a lot. So we're nearly finished, girls. Yeah, we're nearly there. So I'm hoping the next week or two to be able to pick up some rare breed eggs um, because they're out of season you can get them relatively cheap but the hatch rate is usually quite low so fingers crossed we'll be able to find some on eBay and hatch some more eggs out for the kids so he's gonna come and get me <laughs> and there we go we have roof we have chicken wire all the little gaps and holes are sealed up. There's the uh, entrance to the pan. Might make them a little step. Probably not need it. And then obviously, looks really muddy at the minute, but uh, well, we'll give it a bit of time to dry out before we put them in. Need to get some lino for the base. I think I'm going to put some linoleum down or something like that, or maybe some type of yeah any thinner plastic and they'll probably scratch through it and then we're going to do a deep litter system so we'll get to about nine inches deep of uh sawdust and shavings in there before we change it that should be once every six to twelve months this is actually ready for them to go in apart from that little bit there i need to do them a drinker and a feeder which will probably be in this area somewhere. I might even bolt the feeder to the side of uh, side of here. I don't know yet. And then maybe the drink around here with a big kind of uh, water butt, which is filled off of this roof. So um, we we'll very rarely have to top it up with the hose pipe. Kind of self-sufficient chickens, I guess. And then I'm going to also do some kind of automatic door opener for the back put some straw in the nest box i think yeah that's it i just need to wait for this snow to clear off and i can start to clear the whole garden up but pleased with that so far 
So I've got room here for a little shed if I want to put one. Maybe grow some plants up the front of it all. Make it look nice and neat. And uh, I don't think I'm going to paint it. I think that blue looks fine. Rusticky blue. And then the red on here. Don't know if this masonry paint's going to last though. Looks like it's taken a little bit of a... Uh, a battering with the water and the cold weather so I might give it another coat and then maybe just put some varnish on top or something like that to seal it because I like the colour we'll see certainly doesn't look like it's ran down here anyway that's muck from the other day from me cutting it around but if you look up there look it doesn't look like the paint's ran it just looks like it's been drawn into the timber a little bit so maybe just yeah another coat and then seal it with some varnish but anyway that's it i'm going back in i'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee probably and well I'll edit some video so we'll see you on the next one cheers out doing deliveries again this is as exciting as our day tends to get these days and for a friday as dirt isn't too busy we're parked outside one of the local pub stores, the ship in, owned by Batemans, this one. Not really fantastic beer in there, to be fair, but it's a lovely building. So Gemma's just gone across to deliver some beer to one of our regular patrons. And she'll be back in a tick, then we've got to go and do another four cases, I think, today. And then we'll be off home. <laughs>